Reports show violent and property crimes are trending down in Memphis, but there are still concerns with public safety and the way officers can respond. New data tonight shows more than 300 officers have been involved in crashes from January 1 up to yesterday. Action News 5's Amadi Williams looked at how this is impacting the Memphis Police Department force. Wrecked MPD cars are in lots across the city. Between crashes and needed maintenance, MPD's fleet is dwindling. Crash after crash after crash. Since January 1st, there have been 357 officer-involved crashes in Memphis. The exact same number of crashes during the same time period last year, according to MPD. Well, I think there's something that we got to figure out how we can better address and determine if there's any safeguards that we can take. With multiple crashes and an aging fleet, city council members, the city and MPD are trying to find ways to keep crime down and officers safe and on the streets. Vehicles that are waiting to get in the shop, vehicles that are so old that they, they're constantly in the shop. And so it all has a great impact on operations every day. An impact that city council members are concerned about. That's where our focus is, is trying in this moment where everyone is talking about public safety, making sure that our officers on the front line have what they need, and that's cars to go out and, and um, solve these crimes. Although there have been over 300 officer involved crashes, MPD was at fault for only 116 this year. 241 MPD was not at fault according to data. Wednesday, two MPD squad cars were hit while officers were at a shooting crime scene. According to a report, both cars sustained disabling damage. The price tag for a new police car runs thousands of dollars. So, you know, I think the average cost of a police car to, is usually about 25 grand. We're not sure if the cars are totaled or not, but what I do know for sure, if we're losing, you know, cars in terms of force, um, that's hurting the city of Memphis. Every other year, MPD officers have to go through a mandated driver safety training. Also, the director of general services said 136 mechanic positions were filled to make sure emergency vehicles are back on the road. Reporting downtown, Imani Williams, Action News 5.